Hello, I'm David Kerr, Professor of Cancer Medicine at the University of Oxford. One of my abiding interests, part of my daily routine as a cancer physician, is considering whether we should or should not recommend adjuvant therapy for patients who have just had um, potentially curative resection of their colorectal cancer. Um, our group, the Quasar Groups, made, a, a, I think, a very significant contribution in terms of trials, in terms of knowledge in this field. But one of the things that still I think we need to discuss, think about our, our wider community, is the impact of adjuvant chemotherapy in older patients. Colorectal cancer is a disease of the elderly. The median age of presentation is around 72. We know that more than 50% of patients who present are aged 65 and over, and a third of patients at presentation are 75 and over, so a disease predominantly of the elderly. Um, are we justified in giving combination chemotherapy with oxaliplatin to high-risk um, resected colorectal cancer patients? There's a very nice study, a very nice uh, report of a meta-analysis by Dr. Rini and colleagues um, uh, coming out recently in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. Um, uh, an excellent group. Um, they did their uh, meta-analytical work um, according to a strict rational protocol, their statistical methodology analyses were um, on point, um, um, and they collected data from all the relevant trials. And what they found was, according to the results of their study, that it could be concluded that the addition of oxaliplatin to adjuvant therapy for resected high risk colorectal cancer in older patients, patients more than 70, doesn't result in any statistically significant gain in terms of preventing recurrences or saving lives. So when we did our Quasar trials, initially the old ones, we were looking at um, control versus fluoropyrimidine chemotherapy. We, um, although there was an overall impact on survival of the whole trials group, the 5,000 patients in our study, when we looked by decile, the there was a significant diminution of benefit even to fluoropyrimidine therapy in our trial and in patients age 70 and above. I think this careful meta-analysis must make us question the use of oxaliplatin in elderly um, patients. But what could the explanation be? Why could the, 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 the well-known and described benefits of oxaliplatin, particularly for stage 3 disease, why should they attenuate when older people? It, it may be to do with um, reduction in dose intensity, um, older people, um, more side effects, therefore the chemotherapy isn't completed as planned. Um, although increasingly these days we tend only to be giving three months of treatment. Um, is there something biologically, um, um, you know, in terms of either the biology, the somatic mutational um, landscape of the tumour in older people? I don't think so. Certainly in terms of their capacity, in terms of stem cell reserve to um, and be as resistant to the side effects of chemotherapy as younger people, we know that that does attenuate with age. So, food for thought, the majority of patients I see in the clinic for the adjuvant treatment are elderly. Um, uh, the, the majority are coming these days with um, high risk stage 2, stage 3 disease. Um, and a real question mark about whether we should be using oxaliplatin at all. And clearly one would say that we need more trials um, of um, chemotherapy in older folk to see if the addition of drugs like oxaliplatin to a fluoropyrimidine backbone really does make a difference. And I've said many, many times before, we, the medical community uh, recommending adjuvant treatment, need to have better risk stratifiers. We need to have better prognostic markers. We need to have better indices that would allow us to um, perhaps consider these um, um, combination treatments in a more focused group of patients who may have a higher risk of recurrence. Um, have a look at the paper and see what you think. I think it's well done, and it's certainly given me pause for thought 
about the sorts of treatment that we will offer our elderly patients. Have a think about it. Let me know if there are any comments that you'd like to make. For the time being, Medscapers, over and out. Thank you for listening.